What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and an MLB The Show 21 video. We got the pre-order, we got some packs, we're doing no money spent. So if your team no money spent, you want to know how I do it? I'm, I grind this game kind of a lot, so I know the ins and outs. Been doing this for about three or four years now, so like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy. And uh, yeah, this is the team before any kind of packs. Now we did get the free Roberto Alomar pack that is in the store. It gives you an 85 Roberto Alomar. Obviously he's uh, not phenomenal from a power perspective, but he's a diamond in the outfield. Also got Joey Gallo as like a gold thing and that's it that's pretty much all i've done but we have done a lot of moments and we did the beginner showdown so we have some stubs and we have some packs and boys we're gonna rip them these are the pre-order stuff and other uh things and we also did the top snap stuff so there will be diamonds pulled for sure at the end but uh, yeah, hopefully something happens here because that would be elite. So I guess we're gonna start with the bat skin, the most boring stuff, like I said. We do all kinds of things on the channel. I'm gonna be doing tips for the new game, we'll do tricks, we'll do, um, you know, how to beat Showdown. If you're new, we'll do kind of an orientation series. I was not paying attention, we'll do do the boom bat that looks like a cool bat oh and we get more stuff let's go we got tips we got tricks we got you know an orientation for all the new xbox guys we're selling that for a thousand stubs because that's just a no-brainer probably an elite glove but to be honest don't really care that much so we do get some silver stuff we'll pick uh who do we want to pick here any of these guys right now to be honest would be improvements over the people that we currently have so I guess we're gonna go with Gwen as like an outfield pinch run option for the moment. That feels fine. And then the second pick, none of these, oh, Andrew Jones, pinch hitter, let's go. Yeah, so to begin with, I recommend in like the silver bronze packs, <laughs> um, I kind of recommend like you know, you're gonna know your team better than anybody else, so pick like a role. So like, I know at some point I'm gonna need a bench bat with power, especially early on in like ranked seasons and stuff. Andrew Jones kind of fits that bill. Okay, let's start opening some packs here. I'm gonna go with the gold players first because that just feels like the most logical thing to be honest. And these are gonna be cards that probably crack our team, so. Let's see, we kind of want to be strategic about this. So... You know what, maybe we should open these last because we're being strategic about it. It doesn't really matter a ton. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go Gallegos here because he sells for the most and because I don't have a solid reliever yet. So we're gonna go ahead and add him to the bullpen. Actually, I do. Somehow I have a gold Brad hand, so I take all of that back, but never hurts to have a good righty reliever in your pen, to be honest. Okay, let's open these, and then we'll open the golds last, because they can kind of fill a roll, and we'll figure it out. Flip all cards. Okay, nothing in the first pack. It'd be sick to get some golds, maybe? That would be helpful. JD Bedwecklicklin. Okay, I just had a stroke, but that's fine. Let's start adding silvers and all that to our lineup. Even a silver isn't bad at this point. Add to the pen. Rest in peace, Jose Leclerc, really. He's not dead, but he's injured. Omar Narvaez, Austin Riley, Ryan Jeffers. Just all kinds of bronzes. Honestly, any packs you get, rip them. And if you're trying to do the collection, it's not a bad thing to kind of hang on to them. Especially early on, even silvers are not bad pulls. 
because they can help you kind of boost your team a little bit. David Phelps, okay, this is just a terrible pack, but... <laughs> We're taking this for the steps. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but if you're trying to do the collection, trying to get Chipper Jones, which I think we're gonna try to do this year, to be honest. It seems like it won't be crazy difficult. Who plays first here? Oh, that's how you tell. Yeah, it seems like it won't be like too horribly difficult to uh, do things. Which I forgot what I was saying because I do that sometimes. Oh, the collection. <laughs> you know, if you're trying to do the collection, even like, you know, Anthony Bass is a bronze, but that's a bronze that you don't have to buy later. Same with Tyler Krieger. And then, you know, I don't care about the Reds batting practice jerseys, so that is getting sold for 500 stubs. Don't really care about the Mississippi Braves uniforms either, so we're selling that or hanging on to everything else. Logan Morrison's a free agent, evidently. Give me a diamond. No, no diamond, but decent-ish catcher. It's not the worst thing. All right, so now, Ball is a Habit Pack. Give us a diamond here, game. <laughs> Give us a diamond. Dope. Gold. Two golds. All right, you know what? Two golds is not bad, and George Springer's a pretty good gold, to be honest with you. You know, and Trevor May, that's going to slot nicely into the pen here. He's going to go over Zach Pop for now, and then Springer's going in the lineup for obvious reasons. Who's in right? Okay, our outfield's pretty solid right now, to be honest with you. We're going to stick him over Calhoun, maybe move Calhoun to the bench, but, you know, that's not bad. All right, now we get a one gold player or equipment item. And I've forgotten my lineup. None of these sell for anything crazy. We're gonna go Grand Doll, I think. That feels like. Yeah, we're gonna go Grand Doll. His one speed, real burner on the bases. Middle infield. Okay, none of these people are middle infield, but maybe we give some people some PTSD with uh, Kluber early on. So we'll do that. And we'll add him to our rotation. Also, we got this sick Shane Bieber card <laughs> from doing the beginner showdown. It's very easy, and it gets you a free gold 80 overall. That's pretty important when you're first starting the game, so highly recommend it. All right, middle infield. None of you are middle infielders. Absolutely none of you. Mike Soroka, not Awesome. This is kind of a rough pack. I'm not going to lie to you. Urshela can play middle infield. Urshela could be the second baseman. Yeah, we'll do that. I hit okay with him last year-ish. And you're going to play over Valaika here. Two more. Ooh, Glaber. And Yaz. Oh, I should choose Glaber, but my heart wants to choose Yaz. To be honest, we're going to Glaber. And we're going to add him to our lineup, and you're going to play short. Probably. Maybe not. You're probably actually going to play second. I don't know. Glaber's just such a bad fielder, so maybe he won't, but we'll figure it out. Last one here. We're probably just going to take the most expensive one. And Charlie Morton's not a bad option here. He's got a decent break, you know, kind of thing. And he's got a uh, okay velocity. You know what? Charlie Morton it is. Yeah. 100%. He's not the most expensive, but you kind of want a couple of decent starting pitchers to start the game, and Morton gives us that. Okay, so now we have... Tops now stuff 
and also our 42 pack. So let's go ahead and open our 42 pack. Okay, so we have two of them here. And here are kind of your options. You have Griffey, you have Cal Ripken, Frank Thomas, Babe Ruth, Pedro Martinez, Hank Aaron, Jackie Robinson, Mariano Rivera, and Bob Gibson, and then Willie Mays, of course. And those are kind of your 42 options. I think because they're new, my choices are going to be Hank Aaron and Pedro Martinez. I think Pedro is going to be pretty nasty. And I'm excited to use them. So those two things coupled together is why I'm choosing Pedro. And then Hank Aaron's new and I want to try him out, you know, because why not? So those are my two options. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're going to slide them into the rotation because obviously. Okay, from the last Top Snow Pack, I chose Ryan McMahon because I have it under good authority that he kind of rakes. So he's going to play over Miguel Andujar, obviously. And then uh, we got Dylan Carlson as well, who is not going to crack our lineup right now. which is fine, but he's going to be a decent bench bat. And then also, I wasn't recording for the last one, but I chose uh, the Ranger uh, low, I believe. So we're going to add him to the pen, to the pen, to the bench. I'm high, obviously. And then we got Silver Tony Gwynn to add to the bench, and then we got... Killed the do, and then probably for a second catcher, Austin Nola. And this is a pretty good starting team, I think. This is not how the lineup's going to be constructed, probably, but to start the game, you know, day one after pre release is not bad. We could probably use a better fielding shortstop. In fact, we're going to, you know, move Claver to second because the man cannot field. But, uh,. Yeah, this is not a bad team, to be honest with you guys. Uh, between Gallo and center, maybe Gallo and left, and then Springer and center. Um, and then Clemente and Springer, obviously, and then the Yankees up the middle with Hank Aaron, switch hitting Grandal, and then McMahon over third base, and then Nate Lowe, Dylan Carlson, Gwynn, Badu and Nola on the bench, and then our rotation even isn't that bad either between Martinez, Morton, Kluber, and then the free Bieber, which you get from the showdown, like I said earlier, and then all this stuff. So, pretty good team day one. Stay tuned for you know, episode two of No Money Spent. I'm going to start grinding some ranked. Probably going to stream a little bit later in the week when I start feeling a little bit better, but. Yeah, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.